Hey guys, today I'm coming at you with a favourites video. This is going to be July's favourites. However, it's my first ever favourites video, so the stuff I show you uh, may have been a favourite for six months, for a year, for however long. But because this is my first favourites video, I can throw it all in to this video. Um, just a quick side note. Um, I'm in the same setup, have the same makeup, I'm wearing the same clothes as my last two videos. That is because I have, I pretty much work full time now. So when I find the time to film, I seize that opportunity, and I'm getting three to four videos done in a day. Editing and uploading will differ, but when I have the time, I try and get as many videos out for you, well, made for you guys as possible. So um, yeah, that's just a little side note. So let's get into the favourites. So. I have quite a few things to show you today. There are a whole range of shit from homeware, accessories, makeup, food, freaking everything that I am obsessed with. So I'm going to start off with probably my favourite because it's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life and it is a cushion from Ikea and it is covered in cats. Is this not the best thing you've ever seen? The best damn thing I've ever seen. It's so cute and then it's just the same on the other side. And these are literally like three pounds for one cushion. So um, me and my boyfriend have one each on the bed and it's so cute. So yeah, I'm in love with these and they match my room because they're black and white. So if you don't have these, I recommend you run to Ikea right now and buy up the whole store because they're cute. <laughs> um, that's all for like interior and homeware and stuff. So I'll do clothing next because I only have one item for that. And it is this little skirt from Hell Bunny. Sorry, but it's like glaring off of the, the buckle. And it's super short and you can probably see my butt, but it's not really a wearing out skirt. It's to wear in and feel sassy as fuck. Um, it's got two buckles here and it doesn't actually have like a zip or anything. You have to unbutton the inside and then it like rolls out and then put it around yourself. Um, what size did I get this in? Extra small. And I've only worn it a couple of times, but I could just clip the, the label thing on. Can you see? There's like a, a safety pin there, so I've just clipped it on for you guys. But um, not that you really need to know that. But yeah, so super cute little skirt, like tartan material. I love this. It'd be good for like little photo shoots or something. Oh, so cute. And this was in the sale at the the my local like alternative store for ten pounds. So I was like, um, yes. So I'm in love with that. Um, for accessories, I've got two items to show you. The first is this bag. Now I can't tell you the make, I can't tell you where it's from, I've not a clue. My dad picked it up for me. Um, it was my, my present for when I came out of hospital from him and it's so cute. It's styled like a Celine bag um, and then it's just got a, a zip here and then it's got a couple of pockets inside and it's also got some clips. So you can um, attach a longer strap on it, but I, I don't. Not for the style of that, no thank you. And then I don't know if you can see the detailing, but there's skulls all the way along here, skulls all the way down the side, and it's pink and black, and it reminds me of Draculaura. And it's so handy because it's so big, so I'll probably be using this for uni. Um, for my other accessory, oh my god, I am zooming through this video. Slow down, please. Um, for my next accessory, it's a key ring which I showed in my last video and it was uh, my Ungoth Confessions video. But how cute is this key ring? I don't care that it's basic, it's so cute. It's just a fluffy pom pom and I got this from Pound World. I've seen them like really overpriced, like three or four pounds in a shop. I'm like, why? So I saw this in Pound World and because it was a pound, I had to have it. Um, I'll just show you my other key rings while I'm here because these are all faves too. This is a black leather. Um, What's the word? Keyring from Killstar and it just says slightly indented in there. It says Killstar and it's really cute and I got this free with my unhappy meal bag. And my last keyring, I showed this one as well um, in my video and it just says Shell Yeah and this is for a new look. It was about $3.99 and it's just super cute. So those are all faves. On to makeup favourites. So my first one is a makeup remover. I guess it's more skincare, isn't it then? And it is L'Oreal Paris Gentle Makeup Eye, Remo Eye Makeup Remover. 
it looks like this. It's not very big, but I haven't used a lot as you can see, but I've been using it for like a good few weeks and I love this. It really is gentle. I've used a couple of other cleansers and toners that sting when I put them around my eyes. I don't typically have sensitive eyes, it must just be something harsh in the products. This doesn't sting in the slightest. I don't know if it's meant, oh it says yeah, it's suitable for sensitive eyes, so if you've got sensitive skin I'll definitely give this a go because it's really good. I find it removes my makeup well, it doesn't take scrubbing, it's really gentle on your eyes, so I really recommend this. I picked this up for 2 or £3 pounds in Asda, so definitely get on that, it is good, I recommend. Right, as for makeup, we'll start with base. So I've been using this Flawless Colour Correcting Primer from Barry M. For I'd say six months. I've still got some left, which is amazing. And I use it in the the green shade. It literally just says green. I think they do a purpley one as well. And this is good for if you've got redness in your skin. If you put this on before your foundation, as you would a normal primer, not only does it smooth the skin and make it easy to apply makeup, but it also cancels out the red tones in your skin so if you are like me and you like to have a really pale flawless complexion I 100% recommend this because to take out the pinky reddy tones makes your foundation look even paler so you can see I look pretty freaking pale today and that is down to this primer I believe so I definitely recommend this it's about $5.99 um, yeah, it's amazing and it helps keep your foundation matte as well, which is another bonus because I like matte foundations. So definitely pick this up, give it a go, I 100% recommend. Next thing I'll show you is a highlighting kit. It's going to be so hard to show you this, there you go, because it's really shimmery. Um, so it's the Strobe and Glow Highlight Kit from Makeup Academy in Pearl Gold. I'm not, I don't think they actually do other colours, um, but what's so amazing about this is you get like a, a wee mirror here. And then you've got a powder highlight here, but if you flip it up, you've also got a, a cream highlight. You've also got a cream highlight. Um, I'll try and swatch them for you. So that's your cream highlight, which shows up really well. And then that's your powder highlight, which shows up. They're not super well on its own, but when you layer it over the cream, you can see it's super shimmering. So I have that on today, and yeah, I love this. And it's five pounds, and I just think it's amazing. And it's so good as well for pale skin because it's not super dark. It's not dark at all. In fact, so yeah, it's amazing for pale skin. So I recommend. Another thing I recommend is the Maybelline Lash, Sen Lash Sensational Multiplying Mascara. I got the waterproof one um, and it's just, it's amazing. A lot of drugstore mascaras can be quite, I don't know, drying or clumpy, but I find this one to be amazing and it really does lengthen my lashes. Uh, that's what the wand looks like. Um, not a lot to say about it, what can you really say about mascara, I love it, I recommend it, it makes my lashes look on point, so yeah. Um, the last makeup thing I've got to show you is a Makeup Academy Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Unity, and it looks like this, and it is a gorgeous lilac shade, and so it's a liquid lipstick, I'll point out, and it goes liquid to matte, which is what I look for in a lipstick. Um, it's not a typical shade that I would wear often because I like a darker lip, but um, my friend had this and I was like, that is gorgeous, like look at it, look at that shade, I am in love. So pretty, So, and that is only £3, so they have a couple more shades in this range. I have, um, what's this one, Unity? Yeah, I have Harmony, which is a, a nude, but it's quite a brownie nude. Um, I think I can wear it, but it's not my favourite, but this one is my favourite from the collection, which is why it's in a favourite video. Um, right, I've got a kind of, well it's a nail thing, it's the nails I'm wearing today. Um, these were £2 from Primark, they're glitter stiletto nails, um, stick on like false nails, and I am in love with these. My actual nails are so short, so I bite my nails all the time, so stick on nails are amazing for me, especially because the course I'm on I'm not supposed to wear 
big long fake nails so with these ones I can just pop them off when I don't when I can't wear them but if I have actual like acrylics done they're a lot harder to remove so that's why I go for false nails and these are just amazing and they look so cute and I love them my last favorite if you guys want to gain a hundred billion pounds then <laughs> keep watching because these are my everything I got them from the Polish Isle in Asda because we have quite a big Polish community so you can find these in my local Asda, local Tesco's we have an amazing Polish shop that's opened up towards the bottom end of town and oh, they are my life they're raspberry flavoured Jaffa cakes um, I didn't know they were a thing but they are and I'm in love with them and they're only like 80p I literally bought a packet yesterday and they're all gone so this is a new packet it's unopened for this video and once I've stopped filming I'm gonna eat the shit out of these but yeah so these are amazing I recommend so that's all for my July favourites video I'm not sure if this will definitely be a monthly series especially because I'm super tight on money at the moment because it's the summer and we don't get student loan and I've only just got a job so maybe it'll be every other month I don't know who knows <laughs> that's all for this video thank you so much for watching comment below what your favorite item i've showed today is and whether you consider buying or trying any of these products um yeah so thank you for watching and i'll see you guys soon